everyone, welcome back to my channel, Zanny B. Davis, where I speak all about pregnancy, hypnobirthing, and new motherhood. I'm super excited. Once again, this week, I am sharing a new topic. And actually, this week, I want to be speaking about pre-pregnancy. And I want to be helping you, especially mamas, to be when you're trying to be pregnant, to get pregnant, to have a baby. I want to help you overcome that anxiety and um, that stress, that overwhelm, that fright, the fear that we do have um, when we're trying for pregnancy, especially after um, suffering from a loss, maybe a miscarriage, or whatever it may be. And I thought this would be this is a very, very important topic just because I've had a friend, a very close friend of mine who's been experiencing the same thing. And I was able to go through this journey with her. And so I thought, you know what, it'd be perfect for me to come on here and just give you ladies some tips and to just help you to be able to overcome that, to gain your confidence again, to be empowered and to definitely make this happen. It's a tough time okay pregnancy it's a big thing and a lot of people may be thinking well there's so many people in this world right now who are not suffering with infertility babies are being born every day but every single one of us have a struggle and i experienced it as well in my book on um, my ebook the um my pregnancy uh, the power of hypnobirth in my pregnancy and hypnobirthing and new motherhood journey um it's an amazon ebook and i'll put it in a link for you but in that book i shared about how it was when my husband and i were trying for our daughter we were trying for like over a year and we seriously had no signs of it ever happening and people ask me like how did you like just kept going on like how did you keep up you know be positive about it and how is it that you were able to just get rid of that anxiety and that fear right and even it's going a step further especially if you carried a baby and you lost it and you know that happened like how do you overcome that in a sense and like trust that it's going to happen again and so I'm going to be sharing with you just three tips that you can definitely use and I know it would definitely help you. So let's begin, okay? So as I said before, it is a really daunting time. Um, we were trying for over a year. We had no signs, like nothing was happening. I didn't miss a pregnant a period. I didn't have any um, false alarm. We didn't even do tests because nothing was happening. We were just trying and nothing was happening. I was doing all sorts. I was researching stuff. I was, uh, my husband was like drinking sea moss and Guinness and all of these things that you hear about in the urban, um, in the urban slangs and stuff. They said to you, like the men have to boost their sperm counts and they have to like eat like aphrodisiacs and stuff like that. We were doing all of those stuff because we were not taking it for granted i remember after sex like i would definitely try to get my legs levitated so like i lie on my back on the bed and get my legs up to try and get the sperms to move up like you've got to do stuff right i know a lot of people use um essential oils i have some amazing essential oils that i sell through my album business it's amazing the essential oils really help you with relaxation and just being able to be calm and i actually use it during my hypnobirthing and i absolutely um encourage my mamas in my hypnobirthing program to use essential oils as well as well they're benefits are amazing just for relaxation just for calmness and everything else that could be a tip as well like start using stuff like essential oils get yourself a diffuser and that brings me into tip number one learn to relax and it's important to say learn because relaxation does not come easy to everybody and I for one it didn't it came easier for me than I know for other people because I'm a person I love self-care I believe in balance so like for example I work during the week while I'm home, at home with my daughter. But on the weekend, I do not do any work. I do not blog. I do not check messages and answer emails or whatever it may be. Everything waits for Monday. I'm serious. And I'm so strict on that. Like weekends are my relaxation time. On a Sunday with my daughter, she's 16 months old now, soon to be 17 months. We do self-care and my husband as well. Like all we do on a Sunday is attend church and cook that's it or if we go out to our friends or whatever it may be but we do not do anything and most of the sunday i take a long bath with my daughter we do our hair we wash our hair we get it done we pamper ourselves i do like a long scrub whatever it may be i take a long bath that's my self-care sundays and i really strictly 
really am strict with that and i try not to deviate from it like i obviously we go out for walks and we go out but it's just a time for self-care it's just a time for family it's just a time to relax because during my week i'm so busy doing youtube videos blogging um reaching out to my marketing and my social media i'm doing all sorts of stuff right and so therefore i need that time so relaxation is key if you are busy if you're a busy woman you got businesses or you're working a full-time career you have a lot going on take the time to learn to relax and one of the things that you can do is start using essential oils they are so good for just creating the right environment and one of my videos i shared about relaxation techniques and breathing techniques definitely check that out because it's not just for pregnant women right it's great for you all wrong if and especially if you're trying to get pregnant because what we want is oxytocin i speak a lot about this and i have a video on oxytocin it's like the queen of all hormones in our bodies as women and especially it's important in our pregnancy and birth especially in hitting the birth and we speak about oxytocin a lot but pre-pregnancy is important too because it's the love hormone and so the more relaxed you are the more oxytocin that flows into your body and the more chances that you're going to get of getting pregnant right because your body is at ease your body's just gonna do what it needs to do and i have proven this multiple times with with women and friends that i knew who were like desperately trying for a baby and they're thinking and overthinking it and stressing themselves out and it never happened and the minute they just locked off go on a vacation just relax like stop thinking about it they came back and they were pregnant and it's because relaxation is so important so go ahead at the end of the day on the weekends you know put your feet up watch a beautiful movie with your family your husband when cuddle go to the beach do things that you love take long walks just relax put on your essential oils and um, pamper yourself um with Arbonne again we have such wonderful bath scrubs and facial stuff that you can do for yourself take a foot bath whatever it may be just remember to relax relaxation is so important important okay that's my tip number one tip number two i have here is to ensure that you have a positive mindset and i speak about this a lot and i share about it in my book all right positive mindset is so important what can you do to create a positive mindset start with reading i'm a christian i love to read my bible it's so inspiring it's so motivational there's so much amazing story just just make me go like yes 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 this is amazing but you don't have to just read your bible you could read so much more inspirational stuff the blog you could check out my blogs i have loads of inspirational stuff on that um read things that you love another thing is cut out negativity honestly so like sometimes some of the music that we listen to that's so negative some of the movies that we watch i honestly do not watch horrors i do not watch like over horrific movies because they just wind me up a bad way and it cause anxiety in me i don't sleep well and we do not want that we want to make sure that we have a wonderful night rest we want to make sure that we are sleeping well that we are well rested and that we are at peace in ourselves right so if you're a christian start working on that peace god says he's gonna give us peace like no one else so keep praying for peace ask god just to like you know speak into your heart and just allow him to just work in you and just trust in him right and also part of hypnobirthing that we do teach as well is just learning to trust yourself is learning to let go and learning that everything is going to work out for your good and of course that ties into the whole christianity thing as well like god is working everything out for your good and would bring me into point three but I'll, I'll um stick with point two so let's stick it with positive right positivity so another thing is well cut out all negative friendships i am sorry if you have a friend who's always speaking negative they're always going on or something like blah 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 blah. like seriously you do not want that right now you don't want to be taking out anybody else's stress you don't want to be taking out anybody else's drama i mean i know we all want to be good friends we want to listen and that's fine but if that friend is constantly coming to you like bearing their burden on you and just making you feel so heavy laden seriously it's time to cut all ties i'm so strict about that we're about protecting your energy and protecting your peace i have a blog post on that and i have a youtube video on that as well right so just remember to stay positive remember to start your day out reading something inspirational starting your day out very very important to setting you up for the rest of your day so whether you want to do journaling and you should i want to encourage you to journal as well whether you want to start praying whether you want to read your bible or read something inspirational do that before you start your day and i love to speak about exercise i think i got put that in point number three because exercise has been proven to let off endorphins and helps you with hormones that makes you feel alive excited awake enthusiastic upbeat okay so very important throughout your day try to do some form of exercise or some form of workout 
And um, obviously, as you're trying to get pregnant, you want to make sure that you're fit and not overdoing it, okay? And do not do like heavy cardio and all of those things, but simple things like swimming. I know things have been crazy now with COVID-19. So unless you have a swimming pool in your backyard, which I don't, um, it might be a bit difficult. But swimming is really, really good. So if you're in the Caribbean, if you're living close to the beach, it's amazing to do some swimming, um, doing like walking, doing light running. Yoga is so, so good. Um, Pilates, just making sure you have some form of exercise that's important. I like to do it during in my mornings because to me, it set me up as well. So like my morning routine, I speak about this a lot. And it's always been my morning routine. Even when I was in university, I would get up, I would pray with my Bible and everything else, um, set my mindset up right there. And then I'll go into exercise and then I start my day. So by the end of the day, I'm just feeling like, yes, I've got so much done. My day has been really good. And I try not to sleep very late unless it's on the weekend so another thing is getting up really early and getting yourself ready and set up for that day i don't mean like six o'clock and seven o'clock you know like eight before nine i think would be perfectly good because then i think if you sleep until after nine you kind of feel like if the day is gone by and you're like what what even happened throughout that day so weekend is fine because remember we want to make sure that we're self-care taking care of ourselves and relaxing but on the weekdays setting ourselves up for a positive day and creating a positive mindset is so so important for you pre-pregnant pregnancy because you want to make sure that you are in that right mindset and everything else okay and then that would bring me into my point number three with just believing this is another thing as a christian i believe even throughout that one year when my husband and i were trying i believe within my heart that god was going to give us a baby and there was nothing that was going to change my mind from that i decided that it was going to happen regardless if there was no signs it was going to happen so this is one thing that i want to encourage you ladies right now make that decision decision is so important and what does that mean and just basically telling yourself this is going to happen regardless of what come high or low water that's a term that we say it doesn't it just means like come what may whatever is showing to you whatever is you're seeing in the physical it does not matter because you have already decided in your heart and in your mind that you are going to have a baby that that baby is going to be healthy and beautiful and you are going to be a mama and there's nothing that's going to change that so even though you know everything else around you is saying otherwise maybe your pregnancy tests are saying no whatever it may be it is going to happen decide on that right now and believe it within your heart and if you want to reinforce it do affirmations that's another thing that we teach in hypnobirthing put that affirmation out write it out i am going to be a mother like my baby is going to be healthy and strong and you know amazingly beautiful and write those things out even if you're going to put it on your phone as a reminder that pops up every single time like a certain hour throughout the day if you want to write it out and put it on your mirror or if you want to put it in your bedroom or you want to journal on it every single morning but keep affirming that in your heart that's going to help you with your belief and that's going to help you to keep believing and trusting that that is true all right so those are the points that i want to help you with to try and basically reduce anxiety and stress and fear when it comes to you trying for your baby because i know how difficult it could be how challenging it could be as well but as a christian believer you've just got to trust that god is going to give you your heart's desire and if you're not a christian believer you just need to trust that that it's going to happen for you okay like this is inevitable you know what i mean and so you start preparing like just getting relaxed as i said before um taking care of yourself making sure that you're not stressed out about anything taking care of your emotional and physical you know um body and parts and whatever it may be just making sure that you are in that right right mindset is so so important to ensuring that you are setting yourself up for your baby to come okay so remember that you know less stress um less anxiety is going to be better for you because and that's something that we share in the hypnobirthing there's like a cycle that's called like the pain tension cycle so it just starts with that mindset as well and then it just shows you like how your mindset actually affects your um, outcome, right? So it's the same thing as well. Like if you're trying for a baby, if you're being stressed, wound up, overworked about stuff, it is not going to happen. It's the truth, right? You've just got to learn to relax. You've got to learn to decide that it's going to happen anyway and make sure that you're always having a positive mindset on top of all of that, okay? So that is it for this week's video. If this has helped you in any way, please share with me, like, comment on the video. Let me know what parts you love the most and what part you need help with. If there's something that you want me to speak about in particular, 
particular let me know i'll be happy to come on here and share it with you if you are a first time mommy and even if you're trying for a baby right now as well i want to invite you on to my facebook community where it's for first time moms specifically and i share every single week i go on live and i do a q a and we have a chat and i have guest experts coming in there to share with you on amazing topics whether it may be health care or taking care of having a healthy lifestyle time management um positive mindset all those amazing things okay all of the links will be below in this video but go ahead and like share and comment and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications to get notified when i have a new video every single week all right so take care and i will speak with you guys very very soon bye